this interview is uh, exposing kind of how this book perhaps not wholly intentionally um, can be also strongly used as apologetics in the in the sphere with 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 Muslims. Um, I just want to clear one thing though. First of all, is that um, kind of one of the main critiques I've seen of uh, your book, and this is one I thought as well when I when I read it, um, is that there's there's not that many footnotes and citations in the book, but it's kind of obvious you've done a lot of research and you have a PhD and stuff. Um, is there a reason why you 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 didn't kind of do this like loads of citations? Yeah. Um... The, the main reason is that, well, to set the stage, what's what's common in biblical studies as a field, so, and you can look at, I mean, this is diverse people. I mean, everybody from N.T. Wright to Michael Heiser to somebody like John Dominic Crisson on the far end of the other end of the spectrum, all sort of do this, that it's very common to release sort of a, an academic book and then a popular version of the same book. Right. That, that's and the popular version of the same book is aimed at sort of a wider audience. And uh, frankly, that that's that's part of the reality of late capitalism is that the academic book is not going to sell that many copies. And so the wider audience helps justify and pay for the, you know, the academic version. Um, so it, uh, the, the way in which I use I think, which is basically I have a lot of citations that are just primary source citations, right? So they're citations of scripture, they're citations of other ancient literature, um, but I don't have very many secondary source citations sort of in line. And, and that's the common way of doing citations and notation in the popular version of the book. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one of the big obstacles to sort of a wide popular audience is if they pick up a book and two thirds of each page is footnotes. They're not. They're they're going to put it down pretty quick, right? <laughs> that sort of wider popular mm -hmm. audience. Um, so uh, part of the issue here that I think is drawing that critique is that, of course, I don't have the second academic version out there on the market. So part of the audience is reading the popular version and going, oh, I'd like to go deeper into this. Where's the academic mm -hmm. version? That academic version doesn't exist. Um, and, and the reason it doesn't exist is that, frankly, in English right now, there's not really a publisher for it. Um, for the academic version of this book, just this book, the academic version, because uh, Ancient Faith is a popular level press. Um, they don't publish. I mean, you could go to their submissions page. It's right. We do not publish academic <laughs> right, texts. Um, so they, I would have to find another publisher, which is okay, but uh, there's not really an active Orthodox English language academic publisher. And of course, if I take it to an academic publisher like Baylor or Eerdmans or Bakers or one of those that would publish kind of biblical studies, academic type stuff, then I have to strip out all of the Orthodox apologetics angle, right? Because they as publish Protestant publishing houses are, are not going to want to publish by, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. for, the, for the Orthodox Church in particular.